Cheats, three and two coming into the year. And in the top of the first against Adam LaRoche and J.D. Drew, he already had that look. Meanwhile, the Brewers did some hitting. Bottom of the first to score one nothing. Lyle over Bay. You play for Milwaukee, you are not over Bay. Two run double to left center. 21 doubles leads the bigs. He now has a 17 game hitting streak. Three nothing lead now for Ben Sheets. Curveball to Andrew Jones. Wilson Bedemir. Then his opposite Jarrett Wright in the third. See it. Dwayne Wise, the outfielder. Curveball. Nasty. Don't ever want to say anything approaches Bert B. Home by 11's curveball, but <laughs> this thing just snaps off the proverbial table. And then DeRosa. Mark goes down the ninth. Wilson Bedemir, the tenth strikeout in five innings. Top of the seventh, J.D. Drew. And then the catcher, Johnny Carne Estrada. And then Bedemir for the third time. He's 13. Baker's does it. Pinch hitting today is Chipper Jones on Sunday. And the 14th. And then Wise on the curb. A new Brewer team record for strikeouts in the game. Moose Antlers Haas had the old record 1978 with 14. That's about 15 years since we give you that nickname. LaRoche, J.D. Drew. So you mean you've set a new team record and in the ninth, you're going to strike out the side? Yes, that's what we mean. Estrada gone, 18 canes, Ben Sheets. You had to be impressed with yourself. I'm a big strikeout guy, so <laughs> this is kind of all new for me. Pretty cool, though. I've never seen an 18 strikeout performance in a nine inning game, you know, at 115 pitches or whatever it was. You know, that's phenomenal. That's very, his strike efficiency ratio was huge right there. And that's a big word. And I don't know what it means, but he was throwing a lot of strikes. Well, first of all, it means that the Brewers avoided the sweep. They beat the Braves four to one. Ben Sheets hats off. Absolutely spectacular. And with the 18 Ks, 116 pitches, 91 of them for strikes. Ridiculous. Only 25 balls. And he struck out all those Braves. There is no question about it. Harold Reynolds, Ben Sheets was. Well, there he was in the Jimmy Kimmel show. And of course, now up at the plate against Rocket, he's going to get a pitch inside his Piazza. And then he gets a base on balls in the second inning with Mike stranded at first. Then in the third, Striking out Eric gave up meat Volent and then Kaz Matsui. Yeah, they appeal the third. He's gone. Cliff Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall. And Clemens against Piazza. Oh, you know, have you looking inside? <laughs> That's what happens That's when you come nasty. up. Todd Good housekeeping zeal is gone. Fifth inning. Roger against Vance Wilson. Six straight strikeouts. Ten strikeouts for Clemens. 106 times now. He's done it double digits. Brett Asmus from Cheshire, Connecticut. Grounds to Matsui, flips to Garcia. Ensberg off the bag. It's tagged up by Garcia. But oh, Larry Young, the ump. Well, Art Howe comes out and says, Larry, didn't you see it? I mean, he was out for like three seconds. Didn't you see it? How? But the answer was no. And now you're gone. Now base is loaded. Clemens, who's done it all, does it some more at the plate. Scoring Jeff Kent, the Astros lead 2-0. Top of the ninth, man on, Piazza up, Octavio Dotel is the relief pitcher. But Piazza sends it back, 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 gone! There goes Clemens' chance at 8-0. No, we're tied at 2. Astros try to win it. Lance Burton, bases loaded, bottom 11. But he grounds out to end the threat. Then, top of the 13th against Brandon Bakke. Jason Phillips hadn't homered this year. I lie. He's homered this year. Gone. The Mets win it by the count of three to two and 13. Red Sox and Blue Jays, Pedro 2-0 against Roy Halladay this season in the Cy Young matchup. And it is the much anticipated Martinez Halladay three from the Sky Dome. Let's get ready to rumble. I'll stop talking like this. And look at that filthy. That Pedro changeup was so filthy that Carlos Delgado's bat says, forget this. Bottom four, though, Delgado had a little chat with his bat, and he and the bat got all swole. Six home run of the year for Delgado, 2-1 Jays. Pedro has never lost in Toronto. Take that pitch, rewind it back. Jason Veritek, as we look again, 
target just above the knee. The pitch was high, and Delgado took it higher. Pedro, seven innings, three earned runs, six hits, six Ks. So Halliday looking for his first win against Pedro. Top five. Sox down 2-1. Bases loaded, two out. David Ortiz trying to hit the ball. Wicked high. Not wicked high enough. Grounds out. Halliday is season high, 124 pitches, but he gets the win. Jays get the win, 3-1. To the Red Sox lose up at the Yankees. Kevin Brown is a workhorse. He has 72 career complete games. Last one, though, three years ago. It's Edgar Martinez. K's him. Top of the second against John Olerud. Gets him against Edgar. Just had his 300 lifetime over him. One of the fine hitters of this generation. Strikes him out. Kevin Brown has been immense for the Yankees. No action in the Yankee pen in the eighth. But with a 2 0 Yankee lead, Scott Spezio touches him for a solo shot. It's 2 1. Two batters later, Joe Torrey comes out to pull Brown. Kevin, would you mind being Yankee? It's kind of hard for me to argue with Joe's logic. Uh, you're in a situation where, you know, it's late in the game and you got the kind of guys in the bullpen we've got. You know, I'm not going to argue with that. Well, they got first to Tom Flash Gordon. And he gets over Cabrera with two outs looking. Yanks out of the inning. Top of the night, runners on third. You know who they got now. That's Mariano Rivera against Randy Wynn. Mariners lose. Rivera does it. Yankees win 2-1. Kevin Brown 5-0 for the first time since their Sunday night game. Bottom of the fifth, two runners on. Louis Matos tries the sack bunt. Shane Halters throw hits. Matos eludes Kennedy. And Avi Lopez scores. One more look. Shane Halter, usually very impressive during the summer months. Halter tops it off the runner and ruled a single, and never mind. Top of the seventh, Sidney Ponson with a little help from Louis Matos. Diving catch robs Jose Molina. Sidney Ponson, whose last four starts have been rough, saying, nice defense, let me handle the rest. Against Sean Figgins, Larry Bigby. Yeah, he's going to dive. No wonder Sidney Ponson retired 19 of the last 21 that he faced. He gets Jose Guillen. A complete game five hit, 4K performance, 4 0 Orioles. Devil Rays and Indians, Eric Wedge and the tribe going for the series sweep. Bottom five, one on one out, tribe up one zip. Ronnie Belliard. A little shallow pop to center. Rocco Baldelli gets underneath it, but see what, what had happened. I was. My bad. Second baseman Ray Sanchez may have distracted Baldelli. Aaron Baldelli, Indians up two zip because Lawton scored easily. Three batters later, Travis Hafner. My man was doing work. Three doubles, four RBI for Hafner. Tribe called Cleveland in a quest for a sweep. Ten hits, ten runs. They get the sweep. Florida leads one at the top of the fourth. Mike Mordecai. With a fly ball to center field, what will Jim Edmonds do? Will he make the catch? Well, you know, P.A. ain't no, happy. I'm going to say A.K. You're going to watch a home run. What do you really think is going to happen here? Duh. It's, it's A. Jimmy Edmonds makes a great catch like this every day. Remember? <laughs> Those are the ventures. Hawaii will 1-5. So Jimmy makes it look so easy. Standing O in St. Louis. Later in the fourth, Juan Lucky Pierre. So dangerous down the line. Luis Castillo. Ramon Castro scores. Marlins win 3 to a six-out save for Benitez. Seven and one in the current 10-game road trip, taking on the Rockies. Bottom four, four, three Rockies. Kevin Millwood pitching to Jeremy Burnett. RBI single to right field. Bobby Abreu's throw. Right through David Bell's wickets. Millwood dives in front of the dugout, though, to save the ball. Todd Helton would score, but watch Millwood. Big props for the hustle. 6-3 Rockies. Top six, Chase Utley. Two on. Booyah! Utley's first home run of the year is a game-tying three-run shot to left. We are all knotted up at sixes. Bottom eight, same score. Two outs, bases loaded. Jeremy Burnitz. All right, play, I get your point. Reaches out, hits it to second base. Utley a diving stop, play at second. Great hustle by Vinny Castilla, beats out the force play. Burnett's had four hits, all of them with two strikes.
And he just gets played by Jose Valentin. Takes Silva out to right. Three run shot. Fireworks going on in the south side. Part of a 15 hit attack, six zip socks. Bottom four, same score. Grant Balfour in from Minnesota. Base loaded from Maglio Ordonez, as cool as the other side of the pillow. Maglio went three for four, three RBI, two more runs in. And then Mark Burley was just on the straw. When the fifth, he gets Christian Guzman to hit into the 6 4 3 inning inning double play. In Burley's last start, the Sox scored 15. More of the same on Sunday. He got Alex Prieto on the check swing, and then he treated Michael Kadire like a dog. Stay, sit, Burley, 7K, Sox win 11 zip. Stu, Barry, Zito, and the Oakland A's going for the series sweep in Kansas City against the Royals. Royals, such a great surprise last year, but this year, not yet, that's for sure. Eric Chavez, beautiful play to get Adrian Brown. Zito against Angel Barroa. Just call him Angel in the morning, but Zito, six innings, two earned runs, four hits. The A's to have the lead, and they add to it a Rubio Durazo. It's gone. And Oakland goes into Kansas City looking for the sweep, and they get it. More Broom Hilda. The A's win it 6 2. And they come to Kansas City. Rangers and Tigers, bottom three, no outs, tied at one. Omar Infante. Holla! Solo shot, his second of the year. Tigger's up two to one. Top five, same score. Jason Johnson rocks Alfonso Soriano to sleep, and Soriano hitting 307, but he got schooled there. Two batters later, he strikes out Mark Tashira chilling. Johnson seasonized seven Ks before leaving after the fifth with a blister. Alex Sanchez, 14 of his 43 hits this season are bunt singles. Bottom seven, look, we did the research. You would think that, you know, the opposing team would have done it. Bunt single to score, Greg Norton. Sanchez's 15th bunt single this year. Tiggers win, Pistons win. Home trying to avoid the sweep against the Pirates. The Pittsburgh come in and play very impressive, especially in this game, Rod McCoviak against Jerome Williams from Honolulu. Sends it back, 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 back. Gone his six and then he does it again here in the top of the six with a man on sends it way back and it's an eight one pirate win and yes another broom hilda a sweep for pittsburgh and the giants have lost nine of the last 12. pittsburgh went into colorado san fran and went five of six expos at the diamondbacks he shall be a levon hernandez gets some help from his catcher brian schneider off the Nuxy, Steve Sparks. Trust me, gone and watch. Into the pool. The pool? Why not? We don't mind trying to go after the ball. What's a little water? Then Carlos, one up by land, two up by sea, three up by Erga. Grounds to Cabrera. He completes a double play. The Expos sweep the Diamondbacks in Arizona, winning 6 1. Can you believe the National League? What? Not the West, the what? Dodgers swept by the Reds, Padres swept by the Cubs, Giants swept by the Pirates, Diamondbacks swept by the Expos, Colorado went one and two and picked up ground on everybody this weekend <laughs> in the NL what? And here we go. From San Diego, beautiful new Petco. Fourth inning. Glendon Rush against Jay Payton. Peyton hits it right. Brian Giles scores. Cubs lead is down to two to one. Fresh facing Brian Buchanan to rush. It goes to second. No one's there. Error for Ramon Martinez. The old chopper Hernandez. Nevin scores. Retired at two. Boomer Wells. It's Jose Macias, and he hits it back, back, back in a two-two game in the fifth, and it's gone. The Cubs going to win it four to two, and guess what? Broom Hilda would be a sweep and we'll see many a broom on this weekend for two. Cincinnati Reds going for the series sweep brooming up the Dodgers or at least trying to top six 4-1 Reds Ryan Friel up for the Reds Rakin kid drive deep to left Jason Grabowski reaches up can't get it Friel got wheels got his fifth triple of the year check out Grabowski again had it bounced off his glove at least didn't bounce off his head bottom seven four one Reds man on third Jose Hernandez Big up respect, man. 
fourth homer of the year. The Dodgers' second pinch hit homer of the year. Dodgers down 4-3. Top eight, 4-3 Reds. Runner on second and third. First base was open, so they could have walked Junior, but then they'd have to face Adam Dunn, who leads the NL in homers. Yeah, right. Thanks. Thanks for the choices. Junior, the 11-time All-Star, singles to right, two-run score. Reds won. Phillies and Rockies providing some drama at Coors Field Monday. Larry Boas Phil's wrapping up a 10-game road trip. They were 7-2 going into this one, so win or lose, it's been a success. Top two, Mike Laberthal. Say hello to a little fry. Off Aaron Cook, Lieber falls fourth. He was three for five, two nothing fills. Top three, that's Chase Utley facing Cook with the bases loaded. His first major league hit came against Cook. It was last season, and it was also with the bases loaded. You know, I got to thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could show that? So here's Harry Callis. Long drive, could it be? It is out of here. Grand slam home run, Chase Utley. Show Mr. Well, we get back to Monday. Can Utley repeat against Cook, who was just called up from AAA before the game to left center? It stays in the yard, but everybody's going to score. No grand slam. Instead of bases clearing triple, it's 6 0 Phillies as Cook is uh, pummeled for six runs on 10 hits and six. Colorado down 6 1 in the seventh. CJ! Pinch hitting Charles Johnson is eighth home run of the year, and now it's a 6 3 ball game. Let's go to the bottom of the ninth inning. You were in Garden Lavender, by the way. <laughs> Vinny Castilla facing Tim Worrell. Man on first, down 6 5. Castilla to left. Pat Burrell. Newton. It's gone. That's your ball game. His 10th of the year. Burrell not quite. Castilla to walk off. He was 3 for 5. And the Rockies, after trailing 6 0. Carlos Delgado, 380 career against Brad Radke. Bottom one, Doug Mankiewicz flashing the love glove. Oh, I love uh, greens. <laughs> Bottom three, tied. Orlando Hudson, 375 career against Radke. And, oh, we can't get enough of your glove, Doug Mankiewicz. Another look, full extension. Uh, a double turns into an out. We go bottom seven, five, two twins. New Blee J, Frank Minichino. This is his first game with Toronto. He went three for four with two RBI. He was three for 33 with one RBI this season with Oakland before being traded. Next batter, Kevin Cash against J.C. Romero, and Cash is money over the head of Torrey Hunter. Minichino scores, and it's a 5-4 ball game. Three batters later with Delgado on deck, Romero facing Vernon Wells, first base open, and they intentionally walk Wells to get to Carlos Delgado. Why, you ask? There it is, why. One for eight career against Romero. First pitch, Delgado sees. He grounds the second. They get the force, but a run scores. Delgado's RBI ties this game. Top nine, Jock Jones up. Legal flashback. April 27th against the Jays. Jones, walk-off home run. Twins win 7-4. Flashback to reality. Facing Michael Nakamura. There goes gravity. Jones said afterwards he's just trying to get it over Hunter's head. His seventh home run and the Twins win. It was one four straight, straight to the Weather Channel. Chance of thunder showers. 89-minute rain delay. Mark Burley remind us that there's a kid inside all of us. It's just begging to come out. Even the French judge gave him a 10 for that slide. Bottom one, Cleveland down a run. Matt Lawton single to lead off. Felix Diaz pitching to Omar Vizquel. Miguel Olivo tries to pick Lawton off. There went the throw, and there goes Lawton to second. He'd score on a Victor Martinez double. The scale of Martinez would both score on that. Travis Hafner single, and it's 3-1. Diaz would give up six and four and a third. Just up from the AAA Charlotte, second start. Here comes four and five right here. Martinez batting cleanup and cleaning up. He went three for five with three RBI. Martinez 12 for 26 with 13 RBI in his last six games. Top five, Cliff Lee gets Aaron Rowan to pop out. Lee, five innings, one earned. He has yet to allow more than three runs in any of his eight starts this season. Oh, the weather came back, the bad weather. Another 30-plus minute rain delay. Top eight, one out, seven, two. Glove me two times. Timo Perez, Ronnie Belliard, backhand. John McDonald over to first, and the Indians win, seven, two.